They don't define what self-defense is. They have basic, basic language, two clauses really. Oh, and there's no way to check. This week in history, Europe 1928. The United States, Germany, and France become the first of 65 nations by 1933 to sign the Kellogg-Briand Pact, a treaty that, in essence, outlaws war. After the heavy losses of World War I, much of the world is eager, if not receptive, to declaring war illegal. The treaty is extremely simple and contains two principal articles. The first clause outlaws war as an instrument of national policy, while the second requires all signatories to settle their disputes by peaceful means. The signatories include Japan, who invades China in 1931, Italy, who invades Abyssinia or Ethiopia in 1935, and Germany, who invades Czechoslovakia in 1938, Poland in 1939, and the rest of non-neutral mainland Europe in 1940. Well, let's talk about outlawing war. So the person who spearheaded this was actually French, and they were afraid of German territorial aggression after World War I because the French didn't do so hot at the end of it. And so they basically wanted to bring in the British and the Americans to outlaw war. The American Frank Kellogg actually won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1929 for his work on this pact, which upon further reflection is ridiculous. So this was signed in 1928. Almost 10 years to the day, Germany invades Czechoslovakia and it just kind of starts the ball rolling towards one of the most horrific conflicts the world has ever seen. So clearly didn't do super hot in outlawing war. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out our new videos at HistoryNet.